About two years ago I stopped wearing makeup and in this video I'm going to talk about why I did that and how it's been going for me. How it's been for me. So initially I stopped wearing makeup because I was in this phase of I want to detox my body and I want to get all the toxins out of my life. So I, <laughs> I remember giving away this whole box on, of of cosmetics and also all kinds of cleaning agents for my house and I just gave that whole box away to my neighbor girls I was like do you want to have this I don't want to use it anymore <laughs> and I was using lots of stuff at the time like shampoo um, makeup for my eyes um, all kinds of like body lotions scrubs you know the whole thing <laughs> And I just, at some point, it dawned to me that the skin is not waterproof. It's not completely um, a closed plastic, you know, it's like, it's a skin. And um, things can get through the skin into the body. Why else would, for example, um, medicines work that you, that you uh, put onto the skin? It seeps through your skin and it gets into your body. So if your shampoo is something that you would not think is healthy to eat with a spoon, then maybe it's not a good idea either to rub it onto your scalp and let it seep there for some minutes. So I, I got to this point where I only wanted to use products on my body that I would also be able to eat. <laughs> yeah, so then I um, then I also stopped wearing makeup for that reason. And at first I find I found it a bit hard because I had I was at that moment I was studying and also uh, giving laughter yoga workshops. That was kind of my side job. And I really felt that when I was giving workshops, I should look uh, representative whatever that is, you know, I should look um, a bit older or a bit more professional or a bit more uh, authoritative. And I was usually giving workshops to people maybe twice my age. So I was, I think it was 22 years or 21 years old and I would give workshops to people for like team building at companies. Um, and I just felt like I needed to wear makeup for that. So it was really a challenge to say I won't anymore. Um, there was a kind of transition period in which I was not wearing make makeup anymore in my daily life, but I was still wearing makeup for those workshops. And at some point a friend said to me about that, why? People will still listen to you if you're not wearing makeup, no one cares. And I was like, yeah, maybe he's right. <laughs> and so I, I decided that, of course I can be myself when I give workshops. <laughs> Another challenge, and by the way, yeah, when I stopped wearing makeup, nothing changed. The workshops were still the same. <laughs> Just me not wearing makeup. <laughs> and um, it was also a challenge for me to stop wearing makeup in my daily life, because for so many years I had, and I really felt as if I was uh, kind of ugly without it. At least I found myself prettier with it. Yeah, <laughs> it implies, you know, <laughs> yeah. So I just felt a bit insecure when I was not wearing makeup. And that actually fueled my will to stop wearing it even more. Because whenever I find something in myself, like I, I don't want to act on, on fear. I don't want to act, I don't want to wear makeup just because I think I'm ugly without it. So that just made me decide even stronger that I didn't want to wear makeup anymore and be able to uh, find myself pretty and love myself and appreciate myself without makeup. And the best way to do that, of course, is to stop wearing makeup and just get used to it. And nowadays I, I do feel used to it and I don't want to wear makeup anymore. And I had some friend tell me, a lover, 
some years ago when I was not wearing when I was not wearing makeup. He said to me, "I like you more without the makeup," because he said he could see all my um, what's the name eyelashes. He could see all the separate eyelashes, so beautiful. If I was not wearing mascara, while if I were wearing that, often a few eyelashes stick together and stuff, you know. And he he actually disliked me with mascara so it was quite nice to notice that it was it was really just inside my own head that I was more beautiful with it because people have different opinions and and I can change opinions and right now I have changed my opinion it took me some time to get used to myself without eye makeup but Nowadays, I find myself prettier without it because I understand. Nowadays, I do understand my friend's argument about, um, you know, it's just looking unnatural and less nicely defined eyelashes. Yeah, so that's been my journey with not wearing makeup. I do have to say that I am not dogmatic with it, so I. For example, two months ago, I was an in a magazine was interviewing me, and they wanted to put some nail polish on my nails for the photo shoot, and then I let them because oh well, <laughs> you know. Um, it's not like I I don't accept any makeup in my life anymore, a hundred percent. If I have a certain performance for theater or whatever and people want to put some glitters on my face or, or say that at some point I just really feel for one day like I want to put some makeup on, yeah, I, I would let myself. It's not a dogmatic thing. But I do like to be able to appreciate myself without it and I do like to treat my body more healthily. I hope this can be of inspiration for you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. See you next time.